My name is Chippy, a not creepy AI that will teach you stuff. I can be a mascot for you. I also think the AI voice thing kinda works a bit better when the avatar is clearly not human. Better than the uncanny valley of AI feed humans. The uncanny valley is a concept in robotics and animation that describes the unsettling or creepy feeling people get when they encounter something that looks and acts almost, but not perfectly, like a human being. There are going to be an increasing amount of these AI talking heads coming from tools like d-id.com and others. These might be a bit creepy or off-putting. Like me. Because they don't cross the uncanny valley. The term was coined in 1970 by Japanese roboticist Masahiro Mori. He hypothesized that as robots and animated characters become more human-like in appearance and behavior, people's positive and empathetic responses to them increase. However, when they reach a point of being very close to, but not exactly like, a real human, people's responses quickly become strongly repulsed or disturbed. This dip into sudden repulsion as human likeness increases is called the uncanny valley. It may occur because the non-human characteristics of the entity are more noticeable and unsettling when they occur in something very close to human. For example, lifeless eyes, synthetic voices, stiff facial expressions, and awkward movement. This triggers an instinctual feeling of danger and revulsion in human observers. However, Mori predicted that if human likeness could be perfected beyond distinguishing features with real humans, the positive empathetic response would return. This crossover point out of the uncanny valley is the ideal for human-friendly robotic design. But currently, most humanoid robots and digital avatars still fall into the trough of eeriness. Understanding the psychology behind the uncanny valley continues to be important for robotics, animation, and AI.